Greetings! So in today's video, I want to do something that I've done a couple of times before, but I always find it super interesting. I have a vintage tube of Windsor & Newton Prussian Green, and it is quite hard, so I'll have to perform a tube surgery. <laughs> Basically, remove the label, open up the tube, and take out all the paint. I have a small container here that I put the paint in, with the lid. And also, I'll swatch it out and do a little drawing featuring the paint, just to see what this color is like. There is no pigment information on the tube. We have the name, series, number, warning labels, all of that, but no pigment info. We can see that this one was made in England, so it can help date it just a bit, but aside from that, this is basically exploration. So I'll get to it, and I will show you the result of my tube surgery. And I'm back with my completed page about Prussian Green from Windsor & Newton. This is what the tube looks like now. The paint was really easy to remove because it was just a dry solid block in there. What wasn't easy to remove was the label, unfortunately. I tried to salvage what I could, but uh, yeah. And under it, you have the name, pigment info. This color is made from PY109, so Isoendol Yellow, and PB27, Prussian Blue. So this is what it looks like now. I use the lid for mixing the color well on my brush, and you can see here the color in the jar. It was a little bit difficult to rewet in the beginning because I think it's been dry for a long time. So the exterior was really, really dry, but uh, eventually it came around. I think you can see here in the swatch, the swatch I painted first, and there's a lot more texture going on in the swatch. So I think that's because it was sort of still getting rewet in a way. It's an eraser bit. Um, there's not really any physical texture to it, like it, it doesn't feel rough or anything, it's quite smooth, but it's also quite textured on the paper. And as for my test painting, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to catch the proper angle, but where the color is really strong, there's some of that gum arabic shine to it. So again, I think that's just because it's been dry for so long that it's not mixed evenly in its dry form. Like, in a way, there could be more binder on the outside. But since it's one solid block, I cannot really go pick up paint in the middle of it, and I cannot mix it as much. Okay, so I know this page is also about Prussian green, but it's not related to this one. This was a different experiment where I was trying to get a color similar to Daniel Smith's Prussian green, but with colors that I have on hand. So I put these two together because Prussian green, both of them, but they're not related really, aside from the color itself. Overall, I think this is a beautiful color. I'm really happy I was able to grab a vintage tube of it because I can see myself using it. Windsor Newton has stopped making this color. They don't have any paints featuring the yellow pigment that's in this. So I think that's possibly why they stopped making this color. If they stop producing any paint with PY109, well, this one had to go. They still have their Prussian blue, though. That I doubt that's a color that's ever going to go away. But uh, yeah, they don't have the yellow. You can find this specific yellow in other companies. I saw that Roman Schmall and Turner have it but Windsor Newton does not. So what do you think of this vintage color? How do you feel about it? Do you feel like it would still have its place in the range today? Are you sad that it's gone? Are you indifferent? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always happy to hear from you guys, and see ya in the next one. Bye bye!